Hello, I am Piers Kamperus Meyer. I am a medical doctor and a research scientist at the University of Malta, and I am working together with my colleague Dr. Ilata Warijasra on the conversion of adult cells into pluripotent stem cells. So at the time I was a medical student and I was studying in my room. Uh, I then remember my father calling us all down to watch the TV, to watch the uh, exceptional events which were unfolding. And I remember being uh, glued there with the rest of my family uh, till the small hours of the morning. So as a child, uh, I wanted actually to become a zookeeper. I always loved animals uh, and uh, that's, that was my initial dream. However, Malta is a very small country and we don't have any decent sized zoological gardens. So uh, pretty soon that was that. Um, I still love, uh, however, looking at all the small animals and plants we have uh, during nature walks and showing these to my kids uh, in winter and spring. So pluripotent stem cells are capable of producing all the tissues in the body and because of this they can be used to replace cells and tissues lost in degenerative disease such as Parkinson's, such as heart failure following a heart attack for example such as liver failure or such as premature ovarian failure resulting in infertility. The challenge at this point in time with the production of autologous induced pluripotent stem cells is that they are um, produced rather inefficiently uh, and many times require the use of genetic modification. Our research breaks the wall, holding back the rapid, safe and easy production of these autologous induced pluripotent stem cells, such that these cells are widely available for the treatment and possibly also even the prevention of disease. So the production of induced pluripotent stem cells at present uh, is based on the Nobel Prize winning technology of Professor Shinya Yamanaka. This uses the introduction of multiple transcription factors, either as genes or as proteins, into cells. The fact that multiple factors need to enter the same cell makes the process inefficient. Um, and in the cases of using viruses or DNA, there is the risk of genetic modification, which reduces safety. We have found a method of doing this using a number of small, easily available molecules without any genetic modification and without the use of supporting animal cells, resulting in a much safer uh, process with a much higher efficiency, a yield of around 80% compared to around 1% with present methods. This allows us to make these stem cells from easily available peripheral blood or urinary cells so that they can be made from anyone at any age, adult or child. So the advantage of our research is that it may have an obvious multiplier effect. Whilst we produce the pluripotent stem cells, then it is up to scientists from all over the world to take these stem cells and develop them into different tissues um, required for the treatment and possibly also the prevention of different diseases. Uh, at present, many of the treatments in the clinic are actually derived from embryonic stem cells, and apart from ethical issues, these also have the problem that they are not autologous, they do not come from the patient, and therefore at some point they may result in immune rejection. We hope that our treatment will result in cells uh, for each patient um, preferably even before they develop disease. So questions are always numerous. The ongoing research at this point in time aims to check the long-term stability of these pluripotent stem cells and to identify the exact mechanism so we can understand how exactly they are converted. The thing that keeps me awake at night is knowing the length of time required to take something which is successful in the lab through all the safety and administration loopholes required to bring it to a patient and therefore benefit them. Uh, we hope that our research will help reduce this time.
So my wife has uh, had to accept that sometimes um, science is actually my wife and she feels a little bit like my mistress. Um, my children think that their dad is a little bit of a crazy scientist and they love asking me all kinds of questions and discussing with me. In terms of the actual stem cell research, they're all very excited about it, particularly the fact that we plan to spin it out into a um, research company.